Hey everybody, Jamie here. And if there's one thing that I learned from my duct tape tote bag tutorial, it's that you guys love duct tape DIYs. Now the tote was perfect for summer activities, but I wanted to make something that you guys could use year round. Get ready as I show you how to make your own duct tape bows. Let's do it, girl. Okay, so for your bows, you're going to need duct tape, a pair of scissors, and, well, that's it really, just duct tape and a pair of scissors. You can choose as many colors and patterns of duct tape as you like. All right, here we bow. Step one. The first step is to transform your duct tape into a non-sticky fabric. Now there's two different ways to do this. One is to cut out a strip of duct tape and then bend it over itself, sticky side to sticky side. This is the easiest method, but it only allows the loops of your bow to be one color, which is why I recommend the second option. Take a piece of duct tape and lay it sticky side down. Do this two more times, bookending your original piece in order to widen your fabric. Carefully flip your piece over and again put down three pieces of duct tape until all the sticky has been covered. Now here's where you can play with how many colors you want for your bow. You can make it all the same color, have the front and back be different colors, or switch off colors on each side. No matter which way you decide to form your fabric, make sure to use your scissors to trim away any final sticky spots left over from your layering. Now for a medium sized bow, I think an 8 inch strip of duct tape works best, or 16 inches if you're going to be doubling it over. However, you can increase or decrease this number to make your bows as big or as small as you like. The next step is what I like to call the fold and pinch because, well, you're going to be folding and then pinching your fabric together. What can I say? I keep my creativity more on the craft than I do step titles. Anyway, there are again two different ways to do this. One is to simply fold your strip in thirds with the ends of the fabric meeting at the center, keeping them in place with a small new piece of duct tape. Pinch the bow in the middle using your fingers and boom bow. Now if you want even more of a professional look, the next method is to do a fan fold. Bend your material a half an inch or so forward over itself, flip your fabric over, and then bring the layers backwards under themselves. Keeping the layers pinched, again bring your material forward and then backward and then forward and then backward and then... Well, you get the idea. Make sure to keep each layer stacked evenly on top of the other, continuing until all of the material has been folded. Then pinch the material at the middle of your fabric, letting the outside folds fan out to create your bow. The next step is to bind your bow together. And yes, there are again two different ways to do this. Listen, it is all about the options, am I right? For a thicker bow center, the first method is to cut out a piece of duct tape that's a few inches long. Fold the strip over on itself in half or thirds to create a sort of fabric strap. Then wrap that strap around the center of your bow, locking it in place with one last piece of duct tape. For a cleaner look, the other method is still to cut out a piece of duct tape that's a few inches long, but this time you'll continue cutting your strip so that it's an inch or less wide. Then simply wrap this piece around the center of your bow as it will self-attach with its sticky side. And now now you've got duct tape bows ready to go. All that's left to do is to attach them to anything, really. Wrap another strip of duct tape around the bow and then the object you want to wear, like a headband or shoestring. If you wanted to make your own jewelry from scratch, like with a ring or bracelet, follow step three to fold your duct tape into a strap to tie around your wrist or finger, connecting the ends of the strap together with Velcro or a final piece of duct tape. Then simply wind another fresh piece of duct tape around the center of the bow to the strap to attach the two together. If all of that sounded too tricky, just use hot glue to place that bow wherever you need it. This DIY is great for a fun and simple jewelry pop or as creative toppers on any holiday gifts you plan to give this year. Maybe you could even place a duct tape bow onto a duct tape gift like the original host of Do It Girl Brit and I did during our DIY feather and bracelet episode. And like I mentioned earlier, you can make these as big or as small as you like and with any color and pattern that matches your personality. And these take less than five minutes to make, so what are you waiting for? Ready, set, bow, people, bow. How did you create your duct tape bow? Tweet me at Jamie Petito, Instagram me at Hey Jamie, or just tell me all about it in the comments below. We did it, girl. I'm Jamie, and you're on girl.com. For more DIYs just like this one, don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Like I mentioned earlier, you can make this in any color or pattern that you like, and they only take five minutes to wait. Five minutes to wake up. That's it. All of your duct tape jewelry can wake up after five minutes.